my name is Arisa and I graduated from Robert Gordon University in Aberdeen, Scotland with a Bachelor of Honour degree in International Tourism Management. I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram as well as YouTube about uh, what it was like being a student at RGU and just generally life in Aberdeen as a student. So I thought I'd share my experience in this video. I'm really excited to be collaborating with Uni Ackle um, but I will talk a little bit more about them in a little while. First, I just want to clarify that I'm not sponsored by the university. I'm just a happy graduate. I had a really good experience as a student and I thought I'd share about my experience. Um, so not only did I study for four years in Aberdeen, and during that time I also studied for four months in Finland with Erasmus, as well as a year, I did a year internship in California, and um, so I'll talk a little bit more about that as well. And uh, yeah, I'll try and cover as much as possible in this video, from like student accommodation, part-time jobs, a campus, um, like my, yeah, my like, study abroad experience, um, things to do in Aberdeen. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoy and find this video helpful. You can also follow me on Instagram at marisa.vyadz. I post a lot about Scotland, about like solo and budget travel, as well as traveling by public transport since I don't drive. And I also share a lot about international travel and um, just life as a digital nomad now. So let's start with the campus. Um, so yeah, it's a really pretty place and it's just outside the city centre. It's really easy to get to by a bus or you can walk. It's a really nice walk there as well. Um, and it's right by the River Dee and it's just got like trees and the grass and it's a really modern building and it's just really nice. Um, so about the facilities. So each building is equipped with studying facilities such as computers, printers, scanners, of course, Wi-Fi, sofas, desks and it just makes studying a lot easier and more accessible for everyone. Uh, there's also the Learning Centre which is located in the business school and it has all the study facilities mentioned um, plus like study pods and round tables, seminar rooms, uh, large study areas for group work and collaborative projects. This is where I spent most of my time especially in fourth year and uh, studying like with my friends as well as taking lunch breaks. There's also an IT help desk where you can take your laptop or phone if you're having trouble, for example, connecting to the internet or downloading a file and stuff. And the library is in the green glass uh, tower. I'm sure you've seen it in photos. It's got amazing views. Um, so it also has loads of computers and of course all the different books that you'll need for uni, different journals. It's got workstations, um, private seminar rooms, and the staff are always very welcoming and always happy to help. Um, in my fourth year, I was actually really lucky to work there as a student ambassador. So I really got to know it a lot better. The campus has many different food courts and cafes and there's a lot of um, different options for everyone. There's a lot of vegan and vegetarian options as well. Um, you can get like pizza and uh, breakfast, burritos, um, soup, uh, baguettes, um, so many different things. Um, and it's just a nice, I mean, I usually pick, took um, lunch from home um, in a kind of plastic box. There's also um, a few microwaves, not in every building, but you can go, of course, to the other buildings to heat up your food, which I used to do. Um, and sometimes I used to get like a second lunch if I was really hungry or if I was um, all day on campus. So um, there's definitely a lot of good options for food. There's also a sports building. They've got a swimming pool, a climbing wall, um, the gym, different fitness classes. But I'll talk a little bit more about that in the next section of this video. My lecturers were really nice and helpful and I feel like they were really passionate about what they taught which made it more enjoyable and more interesting. Um, don't get me wrong, I it was still very difficult in a lot of the subjects but um, it just made it a lot easier knowing that the lecturers loved what they did and just made it more interesting when they were teaching and of course they were very supportive so they'd always be happy to answer any questions. There were loads of different assignments from like reports and essays to group projects and presentations and obviously your course might be different as it might be more practical um, but this is how mine was and when it came to my dissertation in fourth year, I made a video documentary about stepping outside one's comfort zone by being a solo tourist and the possible impacts on self-confidence. Um, and I also did the written part as well. Um, I'll link the video down below if you want to watch it just to get an idea. I just love the 
it, the fact that I had the opportunity to be creative with my dissertation, so it wasn't only the written part, I could also do the video documentary, um, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And yes, the assignments I've studied were quite hard, and I did spend a lot of time studying, and a lot of all-nighters as well, even though that was my fault um, for not being good at time management sometimes. But um, I also had time though to like go out at night with friends, um, you know, to do my hobbies and uh, different things like travel around Aberdeenshire as well. Um, so yeah, you definitely uh, possible to balance like personal life and studying as well and also have a part-time job. So as well as having the different sports facilities that I just mentioned, you know, like the gym, the swimming pool and everything, um, RGU also has a lot of um, clubs and societies and there's something for everyone. You know, there's kickboxing, cheerleading, Harry Potter, language exchange, um, a gaming society, there's just so many different things and I would definitely recommend for you to join one, especially in first year, because it, it will just give you a chance to try out the different things, maybe you'll discover like a new hobby, um, or it's also possible to meet so many new people, so yeah, it's definitely a great way to make friends when you're in first year. One of the most common questions I get from people is if they're gonna make friends. So I promise you will make friends at university, um, and it's very important to remember that everyone is in the same boat with you. They're all like maybe nervous and um, they're all new to this course. Um, you might meet people in your flat uh, if you're staying in student accommodation or if you have flatmates and um, like flat parties as well. That's very common. You will meet people on your course and um, if you join societies or a club as well. There's just so many different ways to meet people and make friends. With a rising number of students planning their study abroad journey, of course they will be also looking for student accommodation near the university while also hoping for affordability. So keeping your convenience as a priority, allow me to introduce UniACO, a global student accommodation platform. Launched in October 2019, UniACO is a global leader in the student accommodation industry with over 3 million beds and a presence in more than 10 countries. And thanks to its 10,000 plus properties, more than 6 million students from more than 145 countries have used their website. UniAco's outstanding policies like no university, no pay, no deposit, together with its free of charge services, make it the number one choice for students traveling overseas. And this isn't all. With special incentives like cashbacks, Amazon vouchers and more, you have even more grants to choose UniAco as your student accommodation provider. UniAco has it all. The fact that you can compare properties based on their features and prices while also getting the benefit of its price match guarantee feature uh, adds to its allure. So these properties have loads of amenities including the gym, theater, laundry, gaming room, garden and so much more and group bookings call for attractive deals. If you and your friends wish to book your accommodation together, I suggest you can proceed with group bookings and even after you got it all sorted, you're likely to earn money from UniAco. Uh, how? So you can basically refer a friend to UniAco and stand a chance to earn £100 for every booking made via your referral link. And I will link their website down below in the description box for you to check out the different options. I mentioned earlier that you can either walk to uni or you can take the bus and so for the public transport and um, there's buses every few minutes leaving from the centre so I love that because sometimes I'd like would just be crossing the street and I just saw the bus just leave but then I just had to wait a few minutes and then the next one would come so um, it was very convenient and it takes about 25 minutes to get from the centre and um, in the mornings um, around 8 or 9 o'clock because of the traffic it could take a lot longer uh, but generally about 25 to 30 minutes. So there are a few different types of bus tickets available such as like single, day return, monthly, semester and like academic year. It's with the company First Bus so I'll link their website down below as well so you can check out the different um, prices. I think the academic year one was about 300 and something pounds, I don't remember exactly but you can see on the website for the like most up-to-date prices. Uh, for me it was worth it because I went to uni almost every day either for classes or just to study um, or for work when I was I had my part-time job there um, or gone to the library and everything um, and that ticket you can also use it for other things not only for uni because once you have it you can go anywhere in the city so I used to use it to go um, like shopping um, 
like food shopping and things or go on a little day trip or if I couldn't be bothered like walking um, somewhere one day if it was like raining I could just use it without worrying because it was paid for and um, but there's other options to like I said like semester ones and things if you're not sure at the beginning how much you're going to use it depending on what you're studying you might have the chance to study abroad uh, for a semester or even a whole year so in my second year I studied abroad for uh, four months in Finland and it was just an incredible experience if you're given the chance to study abroad somewhere please do it. I just got to meet so many people from all over the world who I now call my friends. Um, I just had amazing experiences like um, experiencing minus 30 degrees weather and snow. I learned so much about the whole new culture, went on a road trip through Finland all the way up to the North Cape in Norway, I saw the Northern Lights, went to Santa Claus Village in Lapland and just so much more. And any destination you're given, you will have the best time. I was lucky enough to get a Erasmus grant, uh, which paid for my senior accommodation while I was there. Um, and yeah, most of the classes were in English. Well, all of the classes were in English for me, but I also had the chance to um, do like a Finnish language um, class while I was there, which was uh, really helpful and it added like to my CV. Um, and it just this whole experience has made me a lot more like social it made me step out my comfort zone like meet people so it's definitely worth it and because i stepped outside my comfort zone and like gone to study abroad in finland i then had the confidence and the courage to do a whole year in the us for my internship and so the visa and flights were very expensive but i it just worked a lot more at my part-time job uh, while i was at uni still um, it was definitely worth it. So I did it during my third year of uni for the year. I went to Napa Valley in California and it was just amazing. It was one of yeah one of the best decisions I ever made. So the resort was called Indian Springs and it was in the wine country in Napa Valley and I got to learn so much about the business and I just got so much like work experience and new skills and I just absolutely loved my job there. Uh, of course, I got to travel my days off all over the US, including New York City at Christmas time, and I also went to Hawaii for my 21st birthday. Um, and the end of my internship, when my visa ended, I was allowed to stay in the country for a whole month extra, but just not allowed to work, so I just traveled. So I went on my own around 11 states and had the best time. And lastly, I want to talk about part-time jobs while at uni. So in my first year, I worked at Burger King as well as a nightclub for a few hours as well. Um, and then when I came back from uh, Finland, like my study abroad, I continued working uh, at Burger King and the nightclub for a while. Um, and then I, yeah, I did my internship in the US. And then in fourth year, I got the job at the library at the university as a student ambassador, which I really enjoyed, uh, like helping students kind of like find their way around and uh, help them with different facilities. I also did some photo shoots uh, like throughout the semester as a freelancer. And so if you're wondering if you will be able to handle a part-time job, while studying it's definitely possible and um, you can choose your hours there's a lot of different options from restaurants and bars to retail and um, because it's a student city there's like a lot of different options and during Christmas time they're always looking for extra staff like for temporary jobs and um, so if you're like not maybe wanting a job for the whole year but you just want to make some extra money you can um, like just before Christmas time in like November, December, you can uh, look for temporary jobs at different places, especially at the retail places like Primark and other clothes shops. They're always looking for extra staff since it's such a busy period. Working at any part-time job while a student um, has so many benefits, of course, the money, but also even if it doesn't have anything to do with what you're studying, it's still going to provide you with so many different skills for your future career, like organizational skills, time management, uh, like people skills, uh, so many different things. Um, and there's also a way to meet people. I made so many friends at all my part-time jobs. A little bit about the city so I've actually made a lot of videos about life in Aberdeen as a student or when I was just uh, living there and working uh, so I'll link the playlist down below with all of them so you can find them easier and um, but 
I absolutely loved living in the city as a student. There's so much to do in the city and around. Um, so here's just some of the many things um, I think that make it a great city. So tons of restaurants and cafes with food from all over the world, including a lot of great vegan cafes, uh, lots of local independent businesses such as coffee shops and zero waste refilleries, and loads of retail shops and like shopping centres. They've got at least three big shopping centres, uh, museums and art galleries, which are free and, and are perfect for like a rainy day, uh, cinemas, theatres, uh, great nightlife scene with like a huge number of clubs and bars. Uh, and there's just also a lot of different events and festivals all year round, for example, like comedy, the light show, Christmas market, and um, restaurant week, and um, of course, the stunning architecture wherever you look. Uh, don't forget to look up when you're in Aberdeen. There's a lot of buildings that you might not notice if you're not, not looking around or up. The beautiful beach where you can also see dolphins and seals sometimes, and the sunrise is so beautiful down there. And there's so many different parks with like grass, trees, rivers, and lots of walking trails from forests to coastal paths with amazing views. And um, you can also, about 20 minutes away with the train is one of the most breathtaking castles, uh, the Notre Castle. Um, and I just love how it's just easy access on public transport to the rest of Scotland. Um, because I, like I said, I don't drive, so I just use public transport to get around. Um, so it's really easy to get to all the different places. So these are just some of the reasons why I love the city. Uh, you'll definitely won't be bored. I also wanted to mention about my ebook, uh, Travelling Aberdeenshire by Bus. And I'll link that down below as well. Um, I wrote that. It's got more than 50 destinations in Aberdeenshire where you can get the bus to from the city, including hiking trails, the distilleries, um, fishing villages, castles, and so much more. Um, it includes like the, the bus numbers, how long the journey takes, and the bus stop to get off, um, and how to get from the bus stop to the actual destination. Um, and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Um, like I said, I'm not sponsored by RGU, I just had a really good experience and uh, you can also follow me on Instagram, like I said, at marisa.vz. You can also ask me anything um, on there as well and yeah, I will see you in the next video.